Welcome to StreetCombatTraining.com. In this program, we're going to be looking at unarmed assault, self-defense in the real world. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the top 10 statistically most common attacks you're going to have to face in the real world. We're going to start with common shoves. These are generally one-handed. Most people see them as more of a nuisance, but they can be dangerous because if you don't defuse them early, it gives the attacker psychological permission to up the force level, and he very likely may attack with something strong, more dangerous. Then we look at hard pushes, two-handed pushes. A lot of people ignore this, they don't see the threat, but once you're unbalanced, destabilized, he can attack you with almost anything and you won't be able to stop it until you recover your balance. They can be more dangerous than you realize. The haymaker, seen everywhere, is the world's most common punch. If you can't defend yourself against a big right hand, you can't defend yourself. It's that simple. And with factors such as the flinch reflex, it's a lot harder than most self-defense instructors would lead you to believe. The push and haymaker just compounds the problem. First he breaks your balance and destabilizes you, then before you can recover your balance, he throws the haymaker. Much more difficult to defend than most people realize because they've never faced it in the real world. Single hand grabs, double hand grabs. Just continues up the force ladder. These also are very problematic because they destabilize you, making it difficult to do whatever techniques you may have learned. The hockey punch, that's what we call it in Canada, when he grabs with one hand and he hits you with the other. Very difficult to do in the real world because he's doing two things at once, destabilizing you and hitting you with the other hand. Next we have the push pull. This is basically hockey punching without the punch. He's using two hands to hold you and either pull you into a knee or a headbutt. From there, we're gonna move into headlocks. We've done a special study of headlocks because it is the most common real world grappling hold that you're gonna face. We've broken it down into a timeline, a sliding scale of danger from early, on time, late, and we'll finish up with very late, our last one, ground headlocks. Once you hit the ground, you're sandwiched there between his weight and the floor, and you're not gonna get out unless you know how to defend yourself. Hi, I'm Robert Duvillette from streetcombattraining.com. Our intro program is the top 10 most common or more, most likely street attacks that you're gonna face, unarmed street attacks. So we've cut out a lot of the learning you have to do, years and years of learning. You might not learn these techniques. We've done a statistical analysis and we've seen what actually happens the most often in the real world. And we've broken it down to the top 10 most common attacks that probably um, represents about 80% of initial attacks. On top of that, we've given you the most effective and simplest defenses that I've come across in my 30 years in the martial arts. We've drawn these from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Combat Sambo, other systems of, of martial arts that not only are going to be simple, they work on a very, very high percentage and they're not difficult to do. I want to personally thank you for purchasing our program and I'm going to include our newest one, Fight Enders, for absolutely nothing. I'm going to throw it in for you. This is the supplementary program for our original introductory lessons on the top 10 most common real world attacks. What I've done in this program is show you more finishes, looking at them specifically on a scale now of force, use of force. You'll be able to deal with people pushing you by using less force than they are. One of the main problems people have, I'm going to show you chokes like the lion kill and the noose choke, which can render people completely unconscious no matter how large they are in a matter of seconds. This is real world stuff that is both really simple and really, really effective. This is the same material I've used in the real world and I've talked to people serving combat soldiers that were doing their next tour in Afghanistan and uh, people who worked on boarding parties which were basically doing the same work as Navy SEALs do in the U.S., that kind of thing. These people came to me and said, you know, what's the simplest, most efficient way to end fights and sometimes in close quarters, you're going to love this stuff. Don't forget, we've got a 100% money back guarantee because I'm so confident in this material that's going to and raise your self-defense level to all new high. Uh, it's risk-free, nothing to lose, try it out, click, and I'll see you on the inside.